In this video, we're going to go over how to reverse an array in Java. Notice we already start out with an array, it just has a few numbers in it. And we're just going to go over how to reverse that. Making an array isn't really the point of this one. So we'll create a method, public void reverse array. And we need to take in an array, so we'll say int array. And we'll put a comment there so we know where that method ends. So to reverse the array, we're going to need a temporary variable because we're going to switch two numbers, but we can't just switch them. We have to put one of the numbers that we're switching into a temporary variable to make the switch. So we have our temporary variable, and we create a for loop for int i equals 0, while i is less than array.length. And we want to traverse through only half the array because we're going to we're going to go through the first half of the array, and we're going to be switching all those numbers with the numbers in the second half, so we can divide that by two, and we'll iterate i by one. So inside this for loop, we first need to create a temp or we have the temporary variable, but we need to assign something to it. So we'll say temp equals array, which gets us inside the array, in array.length minus i minus 1. And this time, uh, this temp right here, in this case, is going to be the 5. It's going to get us to the last variable in the array. Then we assign the last position to the first element in the array. So array array dot length minus i minus one is going to be equal to the first er yeah to the zeroth element in the array, not the first. So what we've done so far is we've said hey the temporary variable is five and then we are going to make this number right here a 1, and then we need to change this to a 5. So we'll say array i is equal to temp. And after, after what I just said, it's going to have 5, 2, 3, 4, 1, and then we can print it one more time, or then we'll go through it again. I would be equal to 2, so the array dot length minus i minus 1 would be the 4 right here, and it'll switch these two, and then it'll switch 3 with itself. So that part really won't matter. And then we also need to print the array, so public void print array. It'll need to take in the array, so int array we'll say for int i equals zero while i is less than the array dot length oh that is not what I was supposed to do i plus plus and we'll let them know that's a for loop there and print array there Okay, so to print the array, we're just going to say, we're going to tell it to print array, and then we want to print the ith element. And just to make it look neat, let's put this all on uh, one line. So we'll get rid of the print line, put a space in between all these. All right, so we'll run, oh, can't really run it yet. We need to say array. And this method right here needs to call reverse array. So reverse array, and it'll send in this array. And then this method needs to call the print array method. So print array, and it'll send in array. Now we'll run it. So notice our array starts out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and ends up 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And if you're curious as to if this works with a even number of numbers, we'll print that out right now. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
which is the reverse of it. And uh, you don't have to use integers with this. You can use doubles. You can use strings if you want to. Actually, yeah, you could reverse the sentence with this. I actually didn't think about that till just now. But you can do whatever you... You can reverse any kind of data type with this. I always hope this video helped you. Uh, I think this way is a little bit more efficient than the way we reverse the array in J201. If you like this video, click like down below. Thanks for watching.